Ileje district is located in southern highlands in Bear region, Tanzania. The district's economy mainly depends on the agriculture sector because more than 90% of the people depend on crop cultivation and livestock keeping as the main economic venture. To support the Ileje district community in improving the agriculture sector and enable them to contribute effectively towards improved social economic well-being of Ileje community in a sustainable and equitable manner, the Integrated Rural Development Organization, IRDO, through the improvement of local organizations' management capacity project, has recorded a number of successes and achievements during implementation of the project. IRDO has vast experience in rural development activities gained over the past 25 years since 1989 when it was formed as a project. Major areas of intervention have been the promotion of sustainable agriculture, infrastructure development in irrigation, rural water supply, and rural access to roads improvement. The organization's vision is a capable area of facilitating development amongst the Ledger District Society for improved livelihood and sustainability managing the resources. Supported by Foundation for Civil Society of Tanzania, IRDO is implementing the five-year project aimed at strengthening the capacity of NGOs and CBOs in Ileje District to enable them to contribute effectively towards improved social economic well-being of the Ileje community. With its head office located in Msia village in Ileje District, IRDO started implementing the improvement of local organizations' management capacity project in 2010, targeting 10 NGOs and 150 CBOs in the district. According to the IRDO Executive Director, Simon Mangonda, his organization has successfully been working with smallholder farmers in 30 villages out of 72 villages in the district. Through training and other supports, IRDO has been facilitating and organizing these communities into groups who then join together to form farmers' networks. The farmers' groups and farmers' networks are focal points for development process which IRDO has been experiencing since the project started. The specific objective for this project is to facilitate the NGO and the CBOs in the Ledger District in development of constitutions, organization policies, such financial guidelines, personnel for improvement of governance. Another one is to enhance the capacity of nascent non-government organizations in Ledger District and the community-based organizations on project planning and financial management so as to enable them actively participate in development work in the Ledger District. Another one is to mobilize and stimulate popular participation and involvement in development planning and budgeting at district, ward and village levels. And then also another one is to, to enhance the flow of information amongst the, the, social, the civil society organizations in the region and the general public on the development policies and programs that are taken in the region. This was more the question of sharing information among the civil society organizations in Ledger, which include, of course, community-based organizations and also nascent NGOs. Every NGO, the community-based organizations are undertaking some activities, but they don't have a platform to share the information. So the main objective also of this program was to make sure that these community-based organizations, the nascent non-government organizations, do share information among themselves so that they could have some sort of what I call a common way and also to make sure that they could have some sort of avoid duplication of work. The another one was to enhance the nascent non-government organizations, community-based organizations in the Ledger district to actively participate in lobbying and advocacy and policy 
and development issues. In this case, was whatever issues which they have some problems existing, whether it could be a policy issue, then the community-based organizations and the local non-governmental nascent organizations, non-governmental organizations, could have a common front to lobby and advocate on policies to create an conducive environment, operations of the activities. But not only that, but even to facilitate, to make sure the farmers do have an access of development uh, ventures or opportunities in the district. The organizations, some are growing, some have reached a higher level of terms of growth. They have systems, policies, governances, structures, financial capacity, but some are still growing. They are very nascent level. So the communities, the farmers, members in the community-based organizations, they have time to learn how that process is being done and how they can participate in the process. But also, they learned something on how to build up this financial stability system. The question of bookkeeping aspect. The, the question of keeping records of the financial. Bank account establishment or opening bank accounts in their respective groups. But also leadership, democratic processes, the election processes within their group, how to keep minutes when they are meeting, how to keep record in the reporting system when they are meeting, how to keep what I call information management, filing system and all these things, to make sure that they keep all this information in their, in their, in their group. In some groups so far, they've got high good of management capacity in terms of democratic processes of election of the leaders, keeping the minutes, and also uh, helping each other. Some have gone far away, even helping the so-called the most vulnerable children. From this Vicoba, they've already initiated our bank, and sometimes they're getting good money to make sure that they can do some pet business. And some they've even built some houses, good houses, Women, especially, they are now very independent. They are freeing, they have got their own resources, they have got their own income. They are not much dependent to their husbands. They can even bring children to school. One of the groups that have brought impact within the community is the Kazi Widow Group, located in Shinji village in Ileji district. The group comprises 10 members who formed the group in 2011 and managed to receive intensive training from Erdo on planning and financial management, budgeting and how to develop a constitution. According to Edines Panja, the registered group has a constitution in place and managed to open a bank account with a deposit of 3 million shillings. <laughs> walitutembelea wakufunzi kutoka shirika la IRDO Ilido kuja kutupa elimu ya kuunda vikundi na kweli tulikubaliana pale akina mama tukakusanyika pale tulikuwa wengi sana tulipokusanyika wengi tukapeana elimu pale wakatupa elimu ya namna ya kuunda vikundi walisema labda muunde vikundi mkisha unda vikundi Mumuwe na chianzio, cha kuanzia, namna ya kuunda vikundi. Kweli pale tuliunda, tukakubaki watu kumi, tukamua kuchangia shingi eftano, tukakusanya shiringi elfu hamsini. Sasa wakati tumekusanya shiringi hamsini alfu, tulimuita afisa maendeleo ya jamii. Na ye ili atusaidia zaidi namna ya kuzifanyia hizo hela kazi. Alikuja, akatupa elimu akasema sasa kwa bila mmeshazi kusanya hizi hela shilingi 50000 
mzigawane mgawane kwa wachache iwe kama mmeanza kukopeshana kweli zile hela tuligawana watu tano shilingi 1010 tukapangiana wenyewe tukasema sasa tumegawana hizi hela tufanyeje akasema mziweke kama kukopa na kurudisha riba tulivokaa hivyo ikabidi sasa tuunde sasa sheria tuunde katiba tuwe na katiba ambayo itakuwa inatuongoza sisi wana kikundi maana hatuwezi tukaendesha hivi hivi bila katiba ya kutulinda ilibidi wakufunzi kutoka Ilido wakaja wakatupa semina namna ya kuunda vikundi tulikaa tukakaa tukaanza kutunga sheria sisi wenyewe kuwa mtu achangia shilingi tano kwa hiari yake mwenyewe mtu ajiunge kwa hiari yake mwenyewe bila kulazimishwa na tulivyojiunga watu kumi bila kulazimishwa kwa hiari yetu na kuchangia shilingi tano tukajua ndio hawa watu wameshafanya nini wamekamilika wanahiari wa kuendelea na kikundi As part of improving the family income and nutrition the Jikazi widow group is involved in livestock keeping agriculture and conducting village and community bank vikob activities Edo is also working closely with village governments and the Lady District Council to support CBOs financially. According to Edo, more than 30% of CBOs have submitted the plans to the village government for 2013-2014 financial plans, while five CBOs have received soft loans from the Lady District Council, and each CBO received 1 million Tanzanian shillings. Edo imetuhamasisha sana sisi akina mama wajane kusema sasa mkitaka ki ili muinuke akina mama wametuhamasisha tuwe tunalima bustani kama hizi tunazolima ufugaji wa kuku hivi tulivyo akina mama kitu kinachotusaidia sana ni ufugaji wa kuku hata tunapoenda kununua hisa utakuta mama mwingine anasema mimi niliuza tu mayai ambato ni, ni na kuku zangu au nimeuza kakuku maana wametuwezesha sana wametufundisha namna ya ya kulima bustani kufuga jinsi ya kujengea mabanda ndio maana akina mama tulipoanza kujenga mabanda wengi wao wamenufaika wamenufaika zaidi walivyotufundisha namna ya kulima bustani maana huko nyuma tulikuwa tunategemea tu mtu akipita na mboga tunasema wewe leta hapa anakuja unanunua mboga unampimia bipi za mahindi na vile vile wametufundisha ta budget. Maana sisi ni akina mama tunaolea watoto wetu pamoja na wajukuu zetu. Tuli huko nyuma tulikuwa ta budget ya tujui. Tunauza uza tu wewe mboga unampimia mahindi ambayo kwenye budget hujaweka. Unachukua tu muda si mrefu nakuta yale mahindi yamefanya nini? Yameisha. Hasa shirika la ili dolilivyo tufundisha wakufunzi walivyotutembelea na kutuwezesha wametufundisha hata namna ya kupanga budget Despite poor availability of water for irrigation being the major challenge for Shinji villages the Kazi Wood group is struggling to use natural wells for irrigation and is calling for more support to solve water problems in the village Wito wangu mimi tunachoomba sana sana ningeomba mtusaidie namna ya kuvuna maji sisi ili tu akina mama wajane tuweze kupata maji zaidi tuweze kulima bustani ya kutusaidia maana bustani ndio msaada wetu wengi wao wanasema jamani tununue ngombe wetu wa makisai atusaidie kulima maana sisi hatuna bwana wa kusema wengine tutakuta wana bwana yake wanasaidiana sasa sisi tukiwa na makisai itakuwa msaada mmoja wapo wa kutusaidia kuinua kilimo chetu akina mama waja and the improvement of local organizations management capacity project Edo is also addressing cross-cutting issues such as mainstreaming gender, HIV AIDS advocacy and awareness raising, care and support to vulnerable groups, environmental and natural resources management and community capacity building in good governance. Sijaona Ngedile is a father of three children living in Bebe village in a later district who found out he was HIV AIDS positive in 2008. With Edo's support, Sijaona was encouraged to form a group with other people living with HIV AIDS in his village. Sijaona with 19 other members from four villages formed and registered Shimbemtima group in 2011 with the mission of educating the communities on the prevention and care of people living with HIV AIDS. 
the training the group received from Erdo on prevention and care of people living with HIV AIDS, networking, planning and financial management enabled the group to provide counseling to 200 people living with HIV AIDS in four villages of Shinji, Mbebe, Ntima and Mapogolo and enabled them to receive medications. Shiguli zetu tunazo zifanya, tunafanya shiguli za kilimo, kidogo kidogo, kwa jiri ya mboga, ufugaji wa mbuzi na ufugaji wa kuku. Tulipata mafundisho kutoka hiritu, shirika la hiritu. Walitupa mafundisho kwanza e, tulifundishwa namna ya kuunda katiba, tulichangishana shiringi elfu tatu tatu kwa kila mwanachama ili tukafungue account bank tulipofungua account bank hapo ndipo mafunzo tulianza kupata baada ya kila baada ya miezi mitatu namna ya kuondokana na umaskini tulifundishwa namna ya ku fugaji tulifundishwa namna ya kilimo cha mboga mboga na mambo mengi mbalimbali baada ya hapo tulipata msaada toka toka halmashauri serikalini halmashauri ya wilaya tulipewa shilingi 1500 hizi tukazipangia mkakati tukanunua mbuzi tisa kila mmoja mbuzi alikuwa anauzwa kwa shilingi 50 na 1000 tuliwagawia wanachama tisa kwa shilingi 450 na 1000 mwaka uliofuata 2013 na 14 tulipata msaada mwingine toka halmashauri ya wilaya shilingi milioni moja. baada ya kupata msaada huu tulichukua tena e, mbuzi ambao waliokosa watu tisa tulichukua mbuzi tena tisa sawa sawa na shilingi lakini na hamsini alufu shilingi laki, laki tano na hamsini alufu tuligawana wana kikundi ili kujikwamua kununua pembejeo mbalimbali za kilimo kwa mwaka huu tuliendelea vile vile na shughuli zetu ambazo tulizokuwa kwenye kikundi za kuwashauri ku, wanaoishi na bibi huyu kwenye mikutano mbalimbali mbali, katika vijiji makanisani vile vile hata kwa mtu mmoja mmoja ambaye tunaposikia kuwa na umu tulimwendea ili kumshauri akapime kama atagundulikwa ana viviu akamsikilize daktari ili aendelee na dawa kama tunavyo kwa hiyo tumewashauri watu wengi ambao katika kijiji vijiji vyote hivi vinne ni wengi ambao walisikia wito wetu ni wengi ambao mpaka sasa hivi ukienda hata pale kwenye taanati yetu ni zaidi ya watu 200 wanaoendelea na dawa As part of improving the nutrition and income the group was trained on proper agricultural practices and how to raise goats and poultry However members of Shimbemtima group have expressed some of the challenges they face which include HIV AIDS stigma and discrimination towards people living with HIV AIDS and have called for more awareness and education in addressing HIV AIDS in the villages. They have also called for other stakeholders to support people living with HIV AIDS and the community at large on improving their income and nutrition. Mwanzoni kabisa wakati tunajiunga wengine katika kikundi chetu hiki wengine walikuwa wana choma nyama za kuchoma hizi za mbuzi wengine walikuwa mama ntirie wengine walikuwa wanapika maandazi lakini sasa tulikosa wateja baada ya kujiunga kuona kwamba watu wamejiunga katika e, vikundi hivi na kuji 
tambua kwamba tuko wagonjwa tulikosa wateja wa kupata kura hii ni changamoto kubwa ambayo kabisa ilitushusha chini katika biashara zetu ambazo mpaka sasa tulianguka kiuchumi kutuonyeshea vidole jamii kila tunapopita kuchekwa kwamba hao wana viviu kwa hiyo hata kusogeleana nao walikuwa wanatukimbia Edo has also achieved great results in facilitating the leisure community to access finance including income generating activities village community banks vikoba for social economic development vikoba lending scheme has already proven to be one of the best tools for community for social and economic emancipation in tanzania several cbo's in ileje district have been equipped with knowledge on the meaning and importance of a vikoba group rules and regulations conflict resolution skills saving and credit operations guidelines the some of the groups in this they highly advanced they developed some sort of theater art groups to mobilize the communities to make sure that they're involved in developing activities. For example, building bridges, roads, construction, to make sure that they have smooth transportation. So some have been very advanced. But also some have been going far away in terms of the community banking. Some have already received some funds from the district council due to the process that they've been really involved in planning process and to even able to ask funds from the district council. Some have been going far away even to ask funds, application of funds from the Foundation for Civil Society. Why? Because they, go, they, they, they got some skills so that they can do themselves thought and do proposal project and seek for funding. One of the groups that have benefited with Vikoba is Mpozile Women Group, located in Msia village, Ileje district. The group, which started in 2007, comprises of 30 members and between 2009 and 2014, under the facilitation of Erdom, the group achieved an accumulation of 12 million Tanzanian shillings. Members of Mpozile Group started contributing to the Vikoba with weekly shares value of 1,000 Tanzanian shillings each. But now, because of an improved income of each group member, they've increased the value to 3,000 Tanzanian shillings. Through Vikoba loans, members of the group and of the CBOs in Ileje district have managed to pay school fees, buy household items, improve household food security, domestication of animals, and building confidence in women to have their own income. Tulianza na wanachama nani baadaye kikundi kaendelea kukua tukawa na wanachama 30 nyumba tulikuwa hatufunji mwaka wa kwanza tulivunja na milioni tisa. mwaka wa pili tukavunja na milioni kumi na mbili. mwaka huu tunatarajia kuvunja ya milioni kumi na tatu. hela hizo tukivunja wengine tumejenga nyumba Wengine tunasomesha watoto. Wengine zinatusaidia mahitaji ya nyumbani. Wengine zinatusaidia pembejeo kama kipindi hiki tunaenda kwenye kuvunja zitatusaidia pembejeo. Kama mimi hapa nilipo kweli nilikuwa naangaika jamani. Nilikuwa napata shida. Sa nyingine nilikuwa naoga maji bila sabuni. Kuomba kesho ombera ya mfukoni mwa mwenzio sio hela. Lakini kwa saizi najitegemea najua kwamba nikienda kwenye kikundi weka isa yangu atanikopea hela yangu na ile hela lazima akili itafanya kazi kwamba nifanye nini ili nirudishe ile hela niliyochukua kule na mwaka jana kama wanawake kikundi cha mpozile tuweza kuandika andiko kuandika wilayani tuweza kupatiwa shilingi milioni moja, tukapewa tulipewa na serikali shilingi milioni moja. hiyo hela tuliona tununue nguruwe kwa kila mwana kikundi tukagawana tukanunua nguruwe Kwa sababu hizi kila mwana kikundi ana nguruwe nyumbani kwake kwa ajili ya faida yake mwenyewe. Inatusaidia kulea watoto, kusomesha watoto. Na saizi katika kikundi chetu tumeweza kununua uwanja wa kujenga ofisi, tumeweza kununua shamba, 
tumeweza kununua mbuzi tunafuga mifugo ya pamoja in Mswima village elated district Mzalendo Community Development Motivational Group is effectively using theatre of art performance to entertain and educate on various important development issues. Recently, the group mobilized community members to participate in the construction of village bridges and roads. Using motivational messages in their songs and drama performance, 20 members of Mzalendo Community Development Motivational Group led them swimmer village members to construct about five bridges and a total of about five kilometers road in the village. Ido's future working strategy is to work closely with CBOs and NGOs and other stakeholders such as DKA, Well to Us, and Foundation for Civil Society. Ido will also continue working with USAID PAC Tanzania, who support the current program on care and support of most vulnerable children. Participatory Ecological Land Use Management, PELAM, is another local organization that IDO is collaborating in implementation of advocacy issues concerning marketing, food security, promotion of local innovations, and farmers' empowerment. IDO will also continue working closely with the Elated District Council and, to some extent, the central government and the regional government in implementing agro-based projects and other extension work. Nam sima moto moto jama Nam sima moto moto 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 Na ileje moto moto jama Na ileje moto 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 jama na ile je moto moto na ile je moto moto.